Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on this channel, Harman's Cooking. Now as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be making a 10 spice lamb curry. Now I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of a 10 spice lamb curry, since this is kind of a my own creation to a curry. So without further ado, let me show you how to make a 10 spice lamb curry served with fresh steamed basmati rice and fresh homemade naan. introduce to you guys the 10 spices we're going to use for this lamb curry. So the spices I'm using is coriander seeds, cinnamon stick, bay leaves, I have big cardamom and a small cardamom, I have star knives, I have cloves, cumin seeds, turmeric and last but not least chili powder. So let's start cooking the lamb curry. So I have my pan on medium heat and I'm going to add cooking oil. And I'm going to add my half kg meat, lamb. And we're going to stir the lamb around and saute it a bit. So when you see the color of the lamb looks like this, we then add our chopped up tomatoes, chopped up onions, and chopped up garlic. And nicely mix those ingredients around with the lamb. Now we're adding in um, chili powder. Turmeric. And for taste, salt. And mix these ingredients around together. So when you see the color of the lamb looks like this, we're going to put the lid on it and put it on a slow heat. I'm going to put the lamb on the small, small gas on a low heat. Now the lamb was going to take around one and a half to two hours long. And the, the process is very simple. You don't have to have no worries about the lamb, but you do have to make sure that every five to ten minutes you keep on stirring the lamb. This is one of the most simple recipes and the spices we're going to add on later. So I have this pan on a low heat and now I'm going to add in the rest of the spices into it and nicely saute them. The reason for sauteing them is because then we can get the nice flavors out of them and later on it will be easier to grind. So add them here. Make sure to keep on stirring these spices guys and make sure don't burn them. Okay the sautéing has been done and now I'm going to put it in the plate. So make sure to immediately put it in the plate because these spices will burn. Making this lamb curry video because I hear a lot of people saying that oh it's very difficult to make a lamb curry at home but in this video I want to show you guys that it's very simple to make a curry at home all you need is your lamb your spices and put in a pan and basically forget about it and then when it when it comes out it'll turn into such a delicious meal that you guys will love and probably try and cook this meal every day but you do need to make sure that you are watching your curry. Make sure to check it out for like at least 10-15 minutes and stir it around. And don't say Harman didn't say so, because Harman did. Okay guys, make sure after every 15 minutes you keep on stirring your lamb curry. Okay guys, let me show you how to make the dough for our fresh naan. So here I have yeast, sugar and salt. Now according to your taste you can add or decrease the amount of sugar and salt you want. 
But here I'm going to have half cup of warm water. And just mix these around. Now I'm going to cover it and set it aside for around 10 minutes. Meanwhile, while our lamb is cooking, I'm going to make the steamed basmati rice. So I have soaked the rice for half an hour and now I put it on a low heat. I'm going to cover it for <coughs> cover it for 15 minutes for it to cook. And also you guys, you can also use a rice cooker at home to cook your rice. So the rice, the yeast has been set aside already and now I'm going to add it in into this flour. And I'm also going to add in cooking oil. And now I'm going to mix them around nicely to make our dough. Okay, now the dough is ready and we're going to leave it to rest for about 15 minutes. You guys, now it's time to see our lamb. Oh wow, look at the color it's getting. The tomatoes is leaving a nice natural color and the ginger and garlic is melted beautifully and it's 60% cooked which that that means that we're gonna add our dry roasted spices from earlier and just mix them around so we can get a nice flavor of the lamb. Okay guys now we're going to cover it with the lid and let it cook. Naan dough is ready, so let's make the naan. So the dough is on the plate, and now we're just gonna spread it around nicely. So I'm gonna spread some fresh coriander onto the naan. And I'm gonna add chili flakes. Now I like my naan to be a little bit spicy, so it's up to you if you wanna add chili flakes. It's totally optional. And now we're going to leave it for five minutes for it to rest. The naan is ready to go in the oven for 190 90 degrees Celsius for about six to eight minutes. Okay guys, as you can see the, the lamb has been done and look at it guys, the color of the lamb is beautiful and the spices you can smell is beautiful. The spices have blended in really well with the lamb and it looks so good, I can't wait to eat it, so I'm going to plate it right now. The fresh coriander is giving it an amazing color to the lamb. It looks so beautiful and vibrant. The naan is ready, so let's plate. The plating has been completed, and guys, be honest with me, it wasn't that difficult. It was a very simple recipe and everyone can make this at home. So now, let me discuss a little bit about the plating. Now here we have our lamb. The aroma of the lamb is just beautiful. You can really smell the um, 10 spices. We added the grinded, dried up uh, spices and the fresh ginger and garlic we added in. It's just amazing. The smell is beautiful. I'm gonna think that the taste is also beautiful too. Then we have here our nice um, salad I made with beetroot, red onion, and coriander. Here for presentation, I've added in those poppadoms and my steamed rice, and here the naan we made. And the aroma of the naan is beautiful too, and I, I just cannot wait to eat it, so I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna try the naan with the curry. Oh man, oh that naan is so nice, crispy and soft and the spices from the curry is just like exploding, the flavor is just exploding in the mouth, oh man, it's such a beautiful taste. I'm gonna try this with the red onions too, see what difference it has, but oh it's so good. Mmm. 
the onion adds a nice crunch to it and it adds a whole different flavor to it and uh, it's just beautiful nice fresh flavor from the onion oh it's really nice okay guys now let me try the lamb with the rice i'm gonna take this oh man oh look at that oh the meat is so tender it's just coming off the bone so easily oh man so good Mmm. Oh my gosh. The lamb is so tender and it's so nice. The flavor of it is amazing. And then you don't, the, the meat is so tender. You don't even need your teeth. You can just eat this with your gums. It's that tender. Mmm. The flavors are amazing from the lamb. Guys, that is it. Please make sure to try this dish at home and Please share with me your experiences while making this dish. So guys, please like the video, share my video around as well, subscribe to my channel, and guys, have a good day. And please, let me enjoy this meal.